Hi, this is Melissa Muir, and I've got a tool review for you today. We've got some new dies from Potter USA. These are embossing dies, and I've done a couple of different experiments here, you can see. And if you'd like to see the results of those, you can visit my blog at http colon slash slash design dot kcjewelbox dot com. These embossing plates are milled out of steel and what they do is allow you to texture your metals with the hydraulic press. These steel plates are not meant to go through a rolling mill so they are for the hydraulic press only. They measure about two inches by two inches and are meant to be used with the contained urethane system that Potter USA has as well. So I'm going to demonstrate really quickly how to use these. I will be demonstrating on annealed 24 gauge copper but like I said as I've been experimenting a little bit I've tried a few different gauges and again you can read about those on my blog. Using this system is actually very simple. What we'll do is we'll just take our die plate put it into our container, place the metal on top of that it in there. I'm going to take my little piece of urethane. This is a little smaller, about just a little more than a quarter inch maybe. Uh, this is, I believe, an 80 durometer, so a little bit softer than the 95. Put that in, followed by our pusher, and now what we'll do is take this over to the press and we'll begin to uh, give it some pressure and get our texture. At this point, I've put my container with the urethane and my die and my metal in between the two platens, I've already taken the time to raise this up a little bit. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to apply quite a bit of pressure to this piece. I find that I, with the embossing, I use a lot more pressure, so I'm going to take this up to probably around 4,000 PSI, and I'll just use my gauge to get that. Now, because I am going to go so high, I also want a little bit more leverage off of my jack. It makes it a little easier to get the uh, amount of desired pressure without too much effort on my part. So my jack came with an extender bar on, on the handle and I'll use that. So what I'm going to do is just come in and again I'm going to be using my gauge to be able to tell how much pressure I'm applying to this. I want to take this up to about 4,000 PSI and we're about there. And what I'll do now is release this, pull out my metal, pump everything out, and I now have a textured piece of metal. And these come out very clean. And again, depending on the thickness of the metal that you're using, you may need more pressure, less pressure. Uh, you might want to try different sizes and shapes. Now, you don't have to just use squares. You can actually use other shapes. So here, I have used uh, my disc cutter cut out a one inch disc go ahead and I've got a spiral uh, shape here that's been milled out again same type of process put that in get it all organized and ready to go okay so now I've gone through and I've already pulled this out uh, again I've got very nice texture on my piece there's a lot of depth to it Okay, so it's a great tool and it's going to be something that can be fun to help you add a lot of texture to your pieces. Currently there are five dies. We have one that's a little diamond shape. We have kind of a, a half circle or kind of a, a curve, I guess. We've got our swirl and some wavy lines and then some straight lines to create more of a corrugated look. There will be more textures added to this as uh, time goes on. We're just kind of starting out small a little bit. See how these are well, you know, how well these are received and then new designs and patterns will be added as time comes on. Again, these are solid steel. They are milled. They're not laser cut or anything like that. So the cost on them might be a little bit more expensive, but these will last forever. And again, like I said before, these are not meant to go through a rolling mill. However, one of the things that you can do with them is create a texture plate. So you would be able to create, let's say, one of these and then roll something like one of these pieces through the mill to texture then other pieces of metal.